What's up, guys? Long time, no entrepreneur. Hey, been in my head for a while, but I felt like today was the best possible day to get some recording done and release a video. So I'm back to you guys. It's been about a month since I probably released a video. That's all right. We're back on it today. Got great news for you guys. So I finally hit my marker on Webull. I passed the $5,000 mark and I'm actually $100 profit in right now. So I'm feeling really good about that. One reason why I've been gone also, I just want to touch on that before we get into the video. You know, life happens, things happen. You gotta take care of these things. You move on, you get stronger, you continue on your path and we keep on going. As far as DoorDash goes, last week I made $950 on DoorDash. And that's because on DoorDash uh, is my full-time gig now and uh, other side incomes coming to you guys in the form of different videos coming into the future but um let's get into the screen recording i'm gonna show you guys how i got back to five thousand dollars on webull okay so the trades that helped me get to this point were eton and lpcn in the month of august lpcn was supposed to have a fda approval decision um, they did not have uh, an approval or disapproval so the stock tanked and right before it tanked, I sold it at 164.5, uh, and I made a cool amount of profit off of that. Obviously, I had rolls all the way up to like the 180s, and you know I missed out, but it's fine. Eton, you know I'm a little disappointed in Eton because, you know, I only made 275 dollars off of it. Uh, right now, Eton. Let's go look at Eton. You guys are gonna see how uh, sick I am right now. So Eton is currently at 870. So just to give you guys some perspective, I, I had about 600 uh, shares. Um, it's already up another dollar from where it was. So, you know, you guys do the math. Um, yeah, so basically that's what would help me get to where I'm at right now. Uh, currently, I have a trade for LPCN again. It's supposed to have another FDA decision this month. Um, I put my trade at one dollar and fifty cents. As you can see, it always soars. That's the good thing about these penny stocks. You got to catch it when the RSI is closer to the thirty mark. So we're gonna see where that's at real quick. Uh, I looked at it earlier. So hold on, just to give you guys a good look right there. So uh, last time I really went below the thirty was it was at one thirteen. So if we had held it that whole time, we would have potentially lost a lot of money. Good thing we got out at 164 last month. Um, so I'm back in again at 150. Um, I'm anticipating that it's gonna soar, perhaps maybe to 160, 170, maybe. I'm not sure about 180, but um, you know, I'm kind of counting on that just based off of the um, the uh, current current volume. It's really volatile right now, and the previous volume. So I think this happened. Okay, so this happened right before opening. So this is a pre-market. This is a pre-market uh, price. And uh, upon opening, you see, because it opened at nine Eastern Standard Time. It opened at 168. So nobody really even got to sell it at 180. So that's fine. Uh, you know, I can count on that. So the highest is 170 for this candlestick. That is the what is that? I think that's the 30 minute. Oh, see, messed up. Yes, the 30 minute chart. So every, each stick is 30 minutes. Uh, so I'm counting on this um, kind of a bit. I'm not going to lie. But um, with that decision coming on, it's a lot of pre-anticipation with these penny stocks. So that's what I'm counting on. Um, the fact that, you know, this always happens. It's called pattern recognition. So I'm recognizing a pattern from the past. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. I used about 70% of my portfolio and the other amount I'm gonna use to get into another trade. Perhaps later on today before market closes or maybe tomorrow, most likely tomorrow. Um, there's some, there's, oh yeah, AQST is also having a FDA approval decision this month. And that's part of the reason what made me get out of Eton as well was that they had two FDA approval decisions this month, one on the 15th. Uh, the FDA never got back to them. There was no press releases, nothing for approval or disapproval. So 
that's what made me get out of their stock. But, you know, some people took the gamble and they stayed in there, as you can see, in much of these people. So my original position was at 718. So, you know, you guys do the math. Could have made a lot more money. 15 to 20 percent on top of what I invested, which was about my entire portfolio at the time, which was 4,900. But you know, it is what it is, it do what it does. This is stocks, that's part of the game, man. You lose some, you win some, you live to trade another day. So with all that being said and done, I plan on releasing videos weekly again to keep you guys updated on my sources of income, uh, my trading. I'm trying to get to $10,000 now, but you know, first gotta get to 6,000. But um, enough about that. With DoorDash, I'm gonna be releasing videos about that. I'm gonna be releasing videos about how to trade, and a lot of different just types of videos that involve on making money, saving money, different things like that. Anyway, if you guys want three free stocks because they're having a promotion this month on Webull, open an account, use my referral, uh, deposit $100 into the platform. Other than that, baby, entrepreneur, 